check one two three cheddar cheese in the place to be silver price report coming at you bringing you the daily price of real physical silver seemed like it was a pretty eventful day today another one of those days when just something was in the air so let's get into it oh man i gotta zoom in once again always 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 all right, this is for June 3rd, 2021, priced in U.S. dollars. American Silver Eagle, $41.47. Canadian Maple Leaf, $35.70. Austrian Philharmonic, $33.62. Private Mint, $33.02, with an average price of about $36.19. Premium. $8.62 over spot. That average price down about 44 cents. That premium up actually about 6 cents. So what happened today? Well, a nice little pimp slapping. That's what happened. So this red line is the third. Blue line is the second. So the closing price on the second was about well, a little 28. Just say 28.20. So, well, June 3rd, it's not, I'm recording the day after, but on June 3rd, closing price was 27.40, 80 cent difference. That's an 80 cent drop. Hemp slap without the freaking baby powder right there, raw across the face. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So definitely a lot of people out there buying the dip. And it's not only just silver that got hit. Now, this is my watch list. I got pretty much mostly natural resources and miners, stuff like that. But look at that. Just bam, across the board. I think some of the uh, indexes were down a little bit today. Now, why was everything down? I'm sure a lot of people are floating a lot of ideas out there. Now, the, the one thing that came to my mind was this. So this was uh, the third as well. New York Fed says it will begin to sell corporate bond ETFs on June 7th. The Federal Reserve will start to gradually offload its portfolio of, of exchange traded funds that invest in corporate bonds on June 7th. The first step is unwinding corporate bond holdings acquired during the pandemic, the New York Fed said on Thursday. Central Bank announced on Wednesday that it would begin to sell the modest corporate bond portfolio it built up last year modest it's a few freaking billion dollars so it's modest bond a corporate bond portfolio was built up last year through an emergency lending program launched to backstop credit markets at the height of the pandemic so people probably worried that uh, that increase in selling them uh, the metfs is gonna push the price down a little bit it would be price deflationary it'd also be deflationary in the traditional sense of the word, meaning um, a decrease in the supply of money. Because selling them, that's going to pull money off of the market. People probably anticipating some type of correction downward by uh, by the Fed selling that. Now, the big, big news even beyond that, or I shouldn't say news. I really should say that the big observation. This is a completely centrally planned economy, dude. The fact that the Fed is buying corporate bonds, that means the the government or quasi government because the the big banks are the the board members of the central bank so this weird essentially fascist this corporatist organization came in and bought up private companies man that sounds like nationalization of the economy to me de facto it's just crazy dude Crazy things in the world, man. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this ain't no freaking... It's a quasi-market economy. The fact that this is, you know, government... <laughs> this is just nuts, dude. I don't got no words to freaking... I don't got no words to describe that, dude. It's, it's the fact... The whole entire freaking economy stock market is watching this one freaking organization. Was it like 12, 12 members on the board? From the regional banks. 
12 people moving the entire freaking world economy. That's just crazy, dude. All right. Well, let's move on to this. Russia cuts dollar holdings from 119 billion wealth fund amid sanctions. Russians just freaking got rid of the dollar, basically. Russia said it will... Russia said it will eliminate the dollar from its oil fund to reduce vulnerability to Western sanctions just two weeks before President Vladimir Putin holds his first summit meeting with U.S. leader Joe Biden. The National Wellbeing Fund will shift its dollar holdings into euro, yuan, and gold, Finance Minister Anton Sulyanov said. So they're out. They're done. Let's check this out. Where, where, okay, how about this? The central bank isn't planning to resume gold purchases as a result of the wealth fund shift. A person familiar with the situation said, speaking on condition of anonymity to discuss matters that aren't public. That's some made up bullshit. Whatever, bro. That's your imaginary friend. This You're trying to downplay what's going on. I got this. Check this out. This is from, I got this from Ronan Manley. He put me onto this. Russian cabinet validates possibility to invest funds of national wealth fund in gold. Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin has signed a decree validating the possibility of investing the funds of the national wealth fund in gold, according to a statement released on the website of the government. Okay, anonymous source. Okay, bro. You ain't official. This is official. Nah, dude, they're 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 going into freaking gold, man. Why? And look, these articles I've read about this, all of them are trying to. Oh, it's not going to have that big of an impact. No, nah, this is kind of a big deal to me, at least, because this means that Russia, which is a pretty strong nation, now, I'm not an international relations guy. I'm not gonna, you know, pretend to be super diplomat over here. But you know, they ain't nobody to play with, and this push puts them in a position to peg their money to gold if need be now they probably will only do that when push comes to shove that day uh probably will will appear someday because the dollar is not going to remain the world reserve currency but this gives them leverage to be honest with you and then these other nations that are getting screwed over from inflation because we export our money printing these other nations that are getting worthless dollars in exchange for their natural resources they can turn to russia Use the Russian money, which is backed by gold. Why deal with the worth, worthless inflation, inflation shredded dollar? You can mess with the Russian ruble backed by gold. Because Putin ain't Gaddafi. The last person tried to do this that I know of was Gaddafi. Obama killed his ass. A drone strike his ass. He tried to do a gold dinar. You can find that in the Hillary Clinton uh, email leaks. We putting on our tinfoil hat tonight, baby. Oh, yeah. Read up on it. He tried to uh, do the gold dinar for Africa, form an African Union. They killed his ass. But I don't think you can be able to do this to Russia if they try to do that. If they try to go to gold, it ain't going to be no pushover. So, and I've heard people say, um, you know, the, the power, the global power starting to shift east. So we'll see. Now, this is another interesting thing I saw. From the Washington Examiner. It's from May 25th. Crypto, what happened? Oh, they get they try to give me an ad. They're always doing this to me. Screwing up my freaking podcast. Every time. Well, not every time, but it happens. Now, oh, do I have to pay? Dang. Oh, this would freeze up right in the middle of a freaking podcast. Come on, bro. Ruining my flow. All right, well, anyway... Cryptocurrency gets congressional foothold in Senate Financial Innovation Caucus. So basically, you got these two, con- I don't know if they're senators or representatives, uh, but two Congress people um, formed a caucus around basically Bitcoin and wanting to develop a digital money. It's coming, bro. I'm telling you. Don't look at, oh shit, hit my, hit my mic. Don't look at this in freaking isolation. Remember, last year, Banking for All Act introduced with one of the uh covid reliefs it ended up getting put out but it's still in committee what is this to require member banks to maintain pass-through digital dollar wallets for certain persons and for other purposes definitions digital dollars the term digital dollars means dollar balances consisting of digital ledger entries 
recorded as liabilities in the accounts of any Federal Reserve Bank. Come on, man. Then they set up a caucus. You got Jerome Powell in these meetings talking about, oh, we're, we're, we're going to put it out. We're going to do a public outreach. See what people think about it. Well, I'm a, you know what I think about it. Silver price report. Hit play. I'll tell you exactly what I think. You can shove it. Shove that keyboard up your butt. So yeah, man, they're trying to they're trying to move us to that digital standard, bro. I'm telling you, why they gotta reset the money? They gotta reset the money. Control the money supply. You control the interest rates. It's because interest rates are still determined by you and me because we physically control the money, the supply and demand of credit on the market. We still have influence over it, but once you go to this digital dollar, they're gonna go below the zero lower bound nominally. It ain't gonna be this hidden negative real rate that's hidden. It'll be nominal. Start telling you what you can buy. Tracking you everywhere, bro. For real. And that's why we invest in the silver. All right. That's today's tinfoil rant. I'm going to go look out my window. Pretty sure there's a drone out there. I'm going to pour this water out I've been drinking. They probably slipped some nanobots in it. I don't know. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you can incorporate this into your analysis. Until tomorrow, peace out.